Okay, so here we are. So for the first time, everyone see you who's behind the camera. Um, so I just want to welcome you back to Simadong channel. So we've got another exciting menu for today. New image, yes. Um, so what I'm going to do for you today, I'm going to do a simple Jamaican classic. So I'm going to do corned beef and cabbage, aka bully beef, with my little twist as normal Simadong style. This one's going to be like a three part menu, very quick very simple I'll just give you different ideas of how you can actually do a nice dish which is a classic jamaican dish right and but at the same time you can just make it really nice and take it to the next level so check us out so first for the bully beef so that's my savoy cabbage so i'm using savoy cabbage so it's a different type of cabbage it has more flavor um more it's, it's richer in iron and then that's my bully beef so i'll show you my twist on this one so if you notice it's not the regular threaded cabbage so this one's gonna be a little twist right now for my regular rice i've got sweet corn pumpkin i've got some red onion and then i've got three types of um peppers um sweet peppers bell peppers and for the garnish it's gonna accompany by a baby, baby sweet corn. And then I'm gonna do some radish. Also, I'm gonna do some little baby mixed leaves. For the bully beef, all my ingredients is gonna go into the bully beef itself or the corn beef. So that's scotch bonnet pepper, white onion, and I'm gonna use some leek. So the leek's gonna like replicate the cabbage. So it's gonna embody it to give it more body and give it another texture when it goes into the wrap. So you'll see as I proceed. And then the coconut milk, I'm using Dunn's River, not a paid advertisement either, but I'm using Dunn's River coconut milk. Still richer again in flavor. It has a thicker consistency, you know, and, and so I rather using this one. So it's Tilda and the brand and I'm using a browned basmati wild rice and we always emphasize on the five a day so the brown rice is more nutritious it's rich it's more richer in terms of the protein that you get from the wheat and all those kind of stuff so check us out so now I'm gonna start with the rice first because we want to get that cooked before we get everything else done so I'm just added my coconut milk yeah and I'm adding Dunn's River so I'm adding my coconut milk and for my reggae rice so I add some water as well and coconut milk as well and the, the, the thing with rice the, the, the water doesn't really have to be boiling boiling we're gonna do a little salt for taste always season always so now I'm gonna pour my rice I'm just gonna stir and you notice I started on a high heat and then I'm gonna just bring it down to a slow simmer so which is a very low heat and then I'll show you the next stage so for the next component of the rice um, and like I always said you always go for the firm of vegetables so I'm gonna sweat them down now and I'll assemble everything later um, so oil is hot basically and this is my pumpkin so my pumpkin first I'm gonna break that up next I'm gonna put my peppers Onion and my sweet corn, some cracked pepper, a pinch of salt, just a little salt to season, and then just allow this to incorporate. And once it's softened, then we will combine it to the rice. I just want to point out with the rice while I'm at it, so I see we get in there, and that's what we're gonna do. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna cover this with clean film, reduce the, the heat to a lower temperature and then just let this cook slowly look at that so next for the bully beef or corned beef Jamaican style adjust a little oil we set these veg down so I'm gonna go with the onion and scotch bonnet first and I wanna slowly add my and like I said, we don't want to complicate it too much because like I said, other components going to make up the dish like the, like these veg. That's the corned beef, aka bully beef. We crush it like this. So next, I'm going to add my 
corn beef slowly and like I said the leaf if you look it's almost has similar consistency to the to the cabbage so that's the texture I'm adding to it basically and that will lift the flavor in another light and then like I said we always season because we've got scotch bonnet we don't want to put any other pepper inside it so just a little salt not too much and that's it really and you just just let this incorporate slowly and I'm gonna add a little touch of thyme you know to enhance the flavor and then I'll show you the next procedure so that's what you want and, and like I said it's cooked meat already so all you need is just to warm it through you know once it gets to this stage then you just want to take it off you know you really don't want to continue cooking it any further you know because like I said you sweat the veg down already all the herbs that's inside it you know and then that's it once it's warmed through and it's seasoned nicely then it's perfect and then I'll show you the next procedure what I'm gonna do with the cabbage next okay so my next stage that's my savoy I've done this in previous videos already I'll show you guys how to blanch so you know I'm just gonna just put this down inside and just to show you the procedure but then you know so into the water I put a little salt as well only for 20 seconds and then you're gonna give it a nice little water bath right so you just chill it down in running water right and the reason why it's chill down in running water because what you want to do you want to stop the cooking and still retain color so that's it 20 seconds then into my little water and I've got some to show you what it looks like already and that's what it looks like my next I'm gonna blanch my baby sweet corn and it's the same exact procedure and then I'll show you 20 seconds and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do next to it basically so I'm just giving it a nice little color so now I'm gonna wrap the corned beef in the cabbage so you know this is what I was telling you about so always let it cool down for a little bit and then what we're gonna do we're gonna wrap it so I've got a clean film here basically and then what I'm gonna do so let's bring everything together like that, like so. So slowly, like that. It's supposed to have that, that nice little ball, like that. And then all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just wrap it nicely in the clean film. So I'm gonna roll it like that until it forms a nice ball like that so that's how I want it you try to get it as tight as possible so it keeps the shape you notice what I'm doing and that's what I'm doing so that's the end result of what it looks like so that's the corned beef there and it's inside the cabbage so just another little twist you know like I said simmer down style and it's nothing complicated guys you know um you know, like i said it's very easy and then you're gonna wonder how i'm gonna heat it up and then i will show you a way that you can heat it up so there's lots of alternative way if you check previous videos that i've done i've shown you how you can use one of the calendars um or a steaming tray or anything you know with some boiling water and then you can just put this inside the tray itself and let it infuse just cover it but i've got another way that i'm gonna do um my vac pack machine is not with me at the moment, but I'm gonna use this bag and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna do. So I've got a sous vide and the temperature, if you notice 59, almost as it goes up to 60 where I want it. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just insert inside. I'm gonna just leave this inside here now just to kind of give you a rough idea as to what you can do. You know, cover, then you set your timer. This doesn't really take more than about eight minutes to eat up you know because of the size you know it's really relatively um, normal size like a medium size which will heat through very quickly and at the same time you still want to retain the greenness you know that color you know so that's the procedure basically and then all I'm gonna do is do the plating so that's our bully beef and rice but you know it's it has to be done simmer down style had to be done simmer down style so 
you know, we do a twist with reggae rice and we use wild rice. And then we use a Savoy cabbage. So it's like the corned beef is stuffed into the cabbage or the bully beef. And then, you know, we finish with a little radish. Some little micros. So yeah, so that was an exciting one today. Hope you guys enjoy the channel. Hope you enjoy the content today. And you know, and like I said, you know, everything we do, we do it Simadong style. You know what I mean? So just check us out for the next video. The next one's coming is gonna be real exciting. I think we're gonna do something sweet because we've been getting a lot of requests for some pudding. So the next video might be a pudding. Also, you can interact with us as well, you know, Tell us what you want to see on the menu next, you know, and we will create something Simadon style. So I'm out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share to my channel, okay? And as we say, bon appetit.